Hey everyone, today I have this bold eye neutral lip for you all today and all products used in this video will be linked in the description below. Starting off, I'm using this primer from MAC and I'm just gonna spread that evenly to my face, kind of to create that blank canvas. Now having a darker skin tone, I find the reddish corrector works best for me. It really covers up those dark circles. Now the stick foundation shade is chestnut. I should have gotten the next shade up because as you can see, this is actually a little too light for my skin, but it's already on me and I wasn't about to start all over, so I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, so I guess it's not too bad, but the next shade up would have been perfect. Now I'm using a shade very close to my skin tone to conceal around my mouth to try to cover up that hyperpigmentation as best as possible without appearing ashy. This NARS concealer shade is Amande. It's my favorite, and I'm just gonna tidy up my brows a little bit, bottom and top. And this is one of my much lighter concealers, and this is what I use as the base on my eyelid before I put on the eyeshadow. I just apply it on real evenly, and we are going to set it. All the shades I use will be from my Morph palette that I bought in Ulta a few days ago. Okay, so I'm not familiar with the, I guess, scientific names of the eyelids, so bear with me. Now this orange color I'm applying generously on the crease of my eye. It did take a few applications to really get that color popping. Some more of the light beige on my lid to separate those two colors. Now I'm applying one of my darker brown colors and really blending it in with that orange. And finally some shimmer to complete that look. So when I did this look the first time, I used black eyeliner, which turned out to be too harsh for the look I was going for. So I used this dark brown one and it turned out perfectly. Now just in general with concealer, I never go too light because once again, I do not like that ash appearance, my personal opinion, that it gives. So I always stick very close to my skin tone when it comes to concealer. It works as well. Now I have had this contour palette forever. It gotta make you wonder if powders actually expire, which I'm pretty sure they do, but you know. Now using my NYX Cream Contour Palette, I use the darkest shade to contour around my forehead. My cheeks. and I'm going back over it from that same brown shade of my Smashbox Contour Palette. Just spicing things up a bit. You guys, this particular Sasha Buttercup is the truth. Every brown and dark skinned woman should have one of these in their makeup box. That's right, use all the flash you want tonight. I'm finalizing the eye look with this warm brown color on my under eyelids. Now for every lipstick shade, I have a lip liner and it helps me stay within the shape of my actual mouth. Don't forget to blend. And this matte lip shade by Tarte called Fortunate is definitely a fall staple. I'm 
I'm finishing off this look with my e.l.f. setting spray. And lastly, some Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminator on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and my Cupid's bow. And this, ladies and gentlemen, completes your look.